Hello guys, welcome to the second part of the final project and let's start creating in the body section the, um, the different sections for uh, or the different divs that we will need to create the different sections of our web page. Now the first uh, section that we will create it's good to be the header. Let's create first the header. So div header, sorry, uh, div ID header, and let's close it. Div. The second section that we will create is uh, it's the main. section okay and now we can create div id equals footer div now wrapping wrapping up the main and the footer we will create the uh, another div called the wrapper now the closing tag of the wrapper is down here okay I want to wrap the main and the footer um, so let's save this now let's create uh, the CSS file which is going to be called style.css as you saw in the first video we rela we made a link to the style.css and here you can type firstly body and here you can type um, top uh, zero pixels and let's type here right zero pixels and bottom zero pixels left zero pixels and uh, here you can type uh, with you type uh, 100% uh, height 100% and margin you can type auto font you can type also Arial. Oops sorry it's not font it's font family okay so let me save this and call it style.css there it is now let me explain you wha what this is uh, all about uh, the top right bottom and left Basically, uh, when I type zero pixels, is to prevent that um, f uh, some little spaces in blank will be there. So basically, it's like padding zero pixels every um, the whole website. Okay, so but I'm typing uh, top zero pixels, uh, right, bottom, and left. So I type for every single uh, part of the or side of the website. Uh, zero pixels so that will prevent in different browsers um, a few little spaces that sometimes uh, occur um, then uh, I have width 100% height 100% margin auto um, this will help me uh, later on to center um, the whole website I'm going to show you how to center the the website um, without using the center text uh, because as you know uh, maybe some of you uh, don't know yet the center tags don't exist you can't use them anymore uh, the center tags uh, will still work but um, they are not uh, recommended uh, to use because uh, it will it may um, it may do a little damage to your website um, and now that we are using uh, a lot of HTML5 websites and HTML5 code, um, it's better for you to get used to not use the center tags. Okay, but I'm going to show you how to use 
uh, another way to center your or the whole website okay now here let me type um, the header selector ID you already know if you use ID you should use uh, this symbol if you use class a uh, class you should use the the symbol the dot okay uh, so we're using uh, ID header and we still have a few more um, but what I'm going to show you uh, or what I'm going to do is from now on I'm going to do the the all the CSS in the um, in here okay in the CSS live uh, editor okay then I'm going to copy paste all that to the style.css file but to see the live uh, or to see the changes live in real time uh, let's use the live CSS editor that's why I wanted you to download that it's way better and uh, it's a very very cool feature to see all the changes live when we type CSS code um, so let me go in here uh, what is it okay index okay let me go to the project and open the index with Google Chrome Okay, here it is. We don't have nothing yet because we didn't style any of uh, we didn't style any of the um, of the divs. Okay, so let's uh, click here, uh, live CSS editor, and you see you can expand all this. Uh, just uh, okay here. okay uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is let me just open this a little bit more uh, let's type header and uh, the next one will be uh, the wrapper the next one is uh, the main I think check yes the main and the footer so the main and here let's type the footer okay now let's give the first properties to the header let's give it a border of one pixel solid uh, black okay and let's give it a width of 100% uh, height of 120 pixels and as you can see we can already check that uh, CSS is running uh, live in the in this page okay you can see the border here black border so it's pretty pretty awesome cool feature that you can use to see live um, that your CSS code is running perfectly on your web page now let's edit the background let's give it a back background um, let's give it a dark color 202020 and there it is okay awesome um, let's go to the wrapper now and here the wrapper let's give it a width of uh, 800 pixels uh, the height is going to be auto and uh, border I used to give borders to all the sections because then you, you can see um, the width and the height of the sections and what part of the website is um, is using. Okay, so it's nice. It's a nice way to control all that. Uh, so let's give it a border of one pixel solid black. Uh, and now let's go to the main. 
and in the main let's give it a border as well one pixel solid black and let's give it a height main height let's give it a height of uh, 300 pixels okay so let me check this let me see if everything is okay yes here in the wrapper instead of 800 let's give it a 600 okay so you can see there it is you can see the lines uh, or 700 yeah that's it um, now the footer let's give it height let's give it a height of uh, uh, let's say 50 pixels or yeah well 50 pixels okay so yeah basically this is what we have now and as you can see um, the uh, the website is uh, it's not centered yet so to center the whole website just go to go to the wrapper and uh, type uh, margin zero um, pixels space auto okay and that will center all your uh, website. I think the footer it's uh, too big. Let's give it a 40, yeah, 40 pixel. Okay. Um, now before we end this part of the video or this part the, of the final project, let's copy all this. Let's put this in the style.css, okay, here. Okay, let's save this. And uh, now, if I go here, uh, I can leave all this here. Okay, and still edit, uh, still edit the page. But just in case that we lose all this, just put put it all in your uh, style.css. Okay. Okay, so uh, we'll continue to put some more properties to the divs in the next video. Okay, guys, see you guys later.